Jesus. Please turn on or you'll lose the Rona Kalina song. Five-year-old Mikita traces his palms in blue and yellow. The kid says that this is the place where he has learned to draw a Ukrainian flag. I always like to draw the flag of Ukraine, nothing else. Alongside dad and mom and a dog, Mikita has been living in Kharkiv metro at the Kiev station since February 24th. At first, the boy's father says they brought only mats here. Now they have their own tent deployed right on the station platform. Sometimes they go home, but spend most of their time underground. How can you get used to this? Well, we go home, bath the children, change clothes, take a shower. It's safe here. At least you can't hear anything. And if you hear nothing, that's a half already. Are you going to the puppet theater? Will we play the little coward today and compose a fairy tale? Psychologist Irina Zolotarova has been working with children and adults in the subway since the first day of a full-scale invasion. She says that in the first week of intense shelling, the children only reached out to hug. Everyone was scared and practically did not go outside. Now they are conducting full-fledged classes, they draw, play, try to cope with their fears. We worked on parents' fears first, brought them back into their feelings, then we moved on to children. Everything has changed, of course. When I first came here, the first week was full of hugs and tears. The kids simply wanted to communicate, but not study. They are still not ready to have any classes. They have many problems they need to overcome. We do more of, let's say, an informal education. Irina herself remained in Kharkiv with her husband, consciously. She figured out that her knowledge and skills could come in handy for the locals, frightened by shooting and those who could not leave and lost everything. Irina believes her new words from the city subway are going to continue their studies during peaceful times, when the war ends. Reported by Amir Tefan, Natalia Belakudra, UATV News.